Enemy the smoke coming right up. Lester's where do you prove yourself? Well, put this on the directed camera for a bit while I fix the graphics. Sorry for that. Your failure lives on. You are a true friend. Alright, it's now said and done. Let's go. It's in the middle lane. Bot gonna try, come and take a bit of tower hits. Might have been a good setup if they were to go for it. The ink as well, but either way, he'll pick up four charges into the lane. Getting things set ready for him into the lane. Now we have Mars up top on Rappy. 30 seconds. First things first, Jax. Who's their money on? Now back with our war, still haven't planted it, so not sure if they would know about this war planted. On the side of Neon. And there's a ward lane coming right there. Ooh, and those illusions seem to be giving him quite a lot of charges. That's gonna be okay. a stun attempt coming on to Falk. 13 charges right off the bat, 3 bounties for Neon, and it's make it 4. Off to a very good start right here. Uh, I'm gonna wait for a bit. Looking spicy. Time to go. Might be a bit hard to farm against the centaur. For Naga Siren here. Meanwhile. Boom, he's gonna try and block the waves. Gonna send those Idolons to maybe scout out and beat down the Grimstroke for a bit. But either way, gonna try and block the wave once again. And gonna convert though that creep. Right there, I'm gonna hand into the jungle. Right at minute one. The biggest now RR with the boots ready. Picking up those bounties means he can afford to get more stats. As well as those tangos, so the rapping gonna try and beat up Natsumi on the level one with the spears of Mar that connected. In the middle lane, Mac reaching level two first, doing quite decent with the last hit. level 3 with one wave away for Mac to reach level 3 as well and here we have Natsumi getting quite blocked by RR gonna try and beat him down with those creep, uh, wave creeps coming right after him and now we see Bach gonna take a bit of hits on the wave and stroke of faith to actually top that off Double damage. Nothing good happening to Radiant's middle tower. Oops. Gonna be a bit of creeps. That mark miss. Here we have on the top lane. They're gonna lift the Shadow Demon up. And it's going to be Mars pulling off all those spells. With God's Rebuke and everything else. Perfect. Here's gonna be of the course. Sphere Mars connected. And that's going to be First Blood. The God's goes rebuke goes the to finish things off. Meanwhile, Natsumi tried to stun and help his team, but couldn't do so. Lane is push a bit for a skeleton down <gasps> bottom lane. As for Grimstroke, he's gonna to push. Uh, I mean, pull the wave. 
that's gonna be nearly full wave denied. There is only Archer. Yep, the range creep going there. As for the melee ones, are gonna get denied all the way into the jungle. That's me still doing decently in terms of last hit, but getting overwhelmed by Mars. Seal two intelligence from Mac, so he can really ditch out those spells by a lot. Gonna try and go for the stun, missing it. I'm gonna put Lightning Storm to actually deal some damage. Coming right up at Droid. We see them trying to do some shadow poison My lines to prevent grow this pull. By the way, I think he pulled him by himself, but then, well, yeah, Neon came to actually screw up with him. I'm gonna try and screw up this one, this one up as well, but nope, it's gonna be a successful pull. But 30 seconds before the bounty rune. Meanwhile, Enigma swapped the jungle. Did he stack? Nope, not really. Stack this one for the Lashrak or Sven or I've anyone who actually needs it. So 20 seconds before that bounty rune pops up. And now here we have... Oh, the trees actually get deleted with that lift. So quite unfortunate. But either way, they're going to try and take the top bounty rune. But Sven is going to get ready into position. And pick up one rune as well, so it's be one each for the top rune. And meanwhile, Grimstroke is going to clear and make it three for uh, Neon Esports. Alright, Grimstroke coming in, gonna find Mark and beat him down with a stroke of fate and the Inkswell combo. Into my yep. Looking really good towards the laning phase here, 5 minutes in, already 2k net worth difference. Dyer's middle tower is having a bad day. So OD right now really have an upper hand in terms of laning. Hitting level 6 before him as well as having oh, tons of denies, 9 denies difference. Stunned. Ruby coming in with that arcane boots. Double damage. Finn doesn't even describe it. Gonna exchange the stuns and Natsumi is gonna miss that range creep, but taking the full XP though still. Now Rappy with the face boots and soul ring finish. The lane sustain is going to be fairly easy on him with those magic stick charges Damn the as well. And now coming in, CLM with that sentry. Might be a bit hard for him to find the wards there. Well, no, not really. You're gonna find one right there. But doesn't really know just yet that there's one there. So trying to go for that stampede escape, but Bog is gonna fall down towards the three-man gank. Meanwhile, Rappy forcing Sven to go for... Not really forcing him though, but... Either way, Enigma stacked things up for him. Level 5 of himself already too. So Sven is gonna pop that God Strength and go for cleaning up that way fairly easily and fast. So Mac here not doing too bad after dying once in terms of CS, but for the denies he's really getting out denied. So OT really having the game of his life. Having three null talisman compared to two. And he also has boots on top of that, so 
So doing quite heavily better. And there we have it, putting down the sentries as well. And they spot out that stacks of creeps. Meanwhile, Arcane Rune picked up by RR. Mac coming in. Gonna face Fly Solo, who actually go for this combo. By the way, he's gonna deny that silence. And then go for the return kill with those Pulse Nova and going for the stun. One more Pulse Nova and he's gonna go down. Fly Solo walking into the wrong territory right there. With three people in charge. Without even coming in to make the setup. Fairly easy. Alright, Enigma. Doesn't really rushing the... What's it called? Guardian Greaves just yet. Oh, actually going to land the Black Hole. Level 6 already. But Rubik is, is not even 6. So he can really steal that. And it's going to be 2 down. Mars coming in. Couldn't really land down. That arena of blood. So it's going to be fairly... Is Dyer going to let that Good for Android right, right here. Going to go for the engagement Radiant down bottom. Mac coming in with a level in, uh, in the edict. But either way, should be enough. That should make this first tower push. Bok doesn't really have that move. charge up Seems on E. By the way, Mark's going to rotate down as well, but it's going to get spotted out by CLM. Middle tower so Adrian looking to be doing a bit better in terms of fight engagement at the moment. Do Radiant want their middle tower to fall? Well, either way, the net worth still suggests that the course on the side of Neon is doing fairly well compared to that of Sven. And for Lishrak and an OD, of course, OD is doing much, much better. Oh and now bottom lane finding themselves in a tough position. Arena of Blood coming in, fly slow, it's gonna happily go down. Meanwhile, Android, Nasumi is going to fall. Neon having the upper hand right here. And finally gonna take three people down at the exchange cost of fly solo on the Grimshaw only. Level six as well on RR. So looking to be stealing some really nice spells. Dyer's top tower has some radiant shape problems. Now do we have the ward finally goes down. Well, it was at night, I suppose. That wa that's why he had left it for quite a while. Meanwhile, the wards gonna get countered here, so they know what's up a bit. But they're gonna put it here, so they can really go for the same spot anymore. Boomy with one minute before the black hole. Gonna go for the Guardian Greaves, no wonder. But gonna have that Vlad aura just in case. And Mars coming in, gonna get Soul Catcher down as well as the Purge. So gonna get quite heavily beaten down. Spend some time with on the Midnight Paul, so that's gonna be quite harsh. But meanwhile, all even the Purge didn't really kill him, so Soul Catcher is gonna heal him up back. Whoops! And meanwhile, up top, Pop <laughs> getting three men ganked. With all the spells on Grimstroke, aside from that soul bind, Dyer's top tower we also have the Eidolons here. Dyer's structures are fortified. Coming out from Rubik, so we also have some pushing power. Dyer's top tower. Set is RR, building up towards Bid that eighth well, lens. So we can see her maxing out that ink swell to deal quite tower is under heavy damage and a long stun. Now here, bottom, Rappi is still getting pummeled down. Illusion. Gonna have to be forced to TP away. Meanwhile, Adroid is gonna take this tower fairly easily. Midnight Pulse coming a bit late. Radiant's bottom tower so gonna really find Rappi on the Mars. Top tower has some radiant shape Not problems. to me clearing out that wave of Ancients already. Gonna approach that Echo Saber in under a thousand gold. But right now, the levels and the spells on 
Neon is looking to be really, really good, so... Hmm, a scan from Might Radiant. be a good, uh, a good timing for them to actually group up. But meanwhile, Nagasarn is a bit low on mana, so I'm gonna heal that out first. And maybe go, f go for the mid push. OD coming in. The power threat's being done. Meanwhile, Mac gonna get stampede up, so we know what's happening down bottom. Rappi is gonna get three men gang as well, so since you can do the same for us up top, we're gonna do the same for you bottom, and that's gonna be him falling down to the demonic perch. Kill him, claiming the kill. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Naga Siren though. Gonna be a bit low on mana, so couldn't really do any engagement here. Gonna get followed by Natsumi, but well. Killing gonna just stun the creep and farm it much more. Adroit. Gonna have Bok falling towards the three man gang once again. It's gonna be payback back to back. But still, the mid tower is going to stand half HP on the side of Neon since he's a Lashrak. And meanwhile, also taking some damage on the side of Adroit. Enough. An arcane group coming up. They're gonna find the wandering mark into the the wander into the river. That's gonna be the kill and first tower as well. 30 seconds. Now looking to use his time window to maybe set up some more kills and take this tower if they can't. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. OD with the blink dagger as well, so we're gonna be a really good initiation tool. To Mars approaching fall? that as well, so Rappi is going to combo out with the OD, and that's going to be a really good team fight coming out from Neon. This is going to be our, our last hitting the tower. That should help. Bounty. Dyer's top tower. We're at midnight. Pulse still haven't getting level that much, but still with a Malefice. So it should be enough for the tools to set up kills that they Attack need the most. The it's not the damage that they lack, so that's gonna be CLM coming in, trying to disrupt those illusions and take some for himself and ma actually make some push towards the middle lane, half HP. But Neon, they're gonna group up top. Skellish is getting DC'd a bit. We'll see what happens. But either way, Neon looking strong right now with all ultimates up. Also all up on Android, so we'll see what's going to happen with a head-on team fight. Alright, going to be a G sign. Let's hope that doesn't happen again. Dyer's top tower has some radiant shape problems. Oops. A bit of stun, finding out those illusions. Oh, the observer is going to be j a bit out of range, so they can scout out the movement of Android still. And Android has no idea about this. Until the fight, of course. See them coming in. Yeah, gonna place that down and well, gonna find that first. Smoke's coming in though. The Eidolons are not gonna thought, spot anything. Boomies gonna get Arena in. Gonna be the Miss Spear of Mars. But either way, the Sun is gonna connect to him. Stampede coming out and saving the team. Mars, Rappi falling down with those all those demonic perch. Enigma still is going to survive. Fly solo. Gonna run for his life. Meanwhile, Skellish is gonna get stunned, maybe. Yep. Nope. It's gonna pop the song in time and TP back to safety. So not the best engagement coming out from Neon. But most alt is getting burned off. Well, not the key one being the Sandy Eclipse just yet. 
by the way Rubik RR having stolen that storm hammer so it's gonna be quite a longer stun with those spell amplification and now here we have Skullicious actually falling down towards two heroes Lashrak coming in with those dual combo and end now we have Boomy running for his life after helping his teammate setting up those kills but Mark's going to miss him by just one one space of fog didn't really see him otherwise it would have gotten him with all those blinks coming in Radiance top tower is under attack here we have fly solo coming here trying to ward Natsumi gonna find him so knowing that he probably warded it's gonna be quite fast with the movement speed talent but didn't chose didn't choose to actually go further echo saber done with that ogre axe intact as well so right about more than halfway through bkb Fly solo denying that rune. There's no bottle yeah, fill up region for you, Mac. Now we have Rappi getting pummeled once again with all those first stuns coming in. Three men going in. It's going to. And it's a really nice combo, actually. If they got a bit more levels into the Midnight Pulse, it's right about more than half the duration of those Midnight Pulses. With all those demoni uh, demonic perch, you're running fairly slow, and if you actually place a midnight pulse right in the center, then yeah, that's going to be quite heavy Jack midnight pulse going to towards the enemy team. Radiant structures are fortified. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. I'm gonna maybe try and Did go Radiant's for Skalicious, but Manta already done. He's gonna be able to dodge things by a bit. Fly solo is going to link Enigma first, but the song coming out with all those Arena Blood coming out with all the spears, but it's going to miss. All of them is uh, going to miss there. Skalicious is gonna get beaten no. down. There is no song escape this time. Not even a Manta is gonna help him, so it's going to be two dead on the side. Of uh, uh, neon, Android picking up those. Dyer's top tower has some radiant shape problems. Pick up those kills fairly easily, and still has the black hole intact. Rubik looking to actually steal the black hole as well. So, but yeah, gonna make it a mind game for both of them. That's exactly. find. Alright, BKB setting up for Mars, which is really much needed despite the disable through BKB, the BKB breaker, but either way it's gonna be better than not nothing. Gotta take cause still gonna take damage from those midnight pulses and the slows. By the way, the stun is not gonna mean anything to him anymore. Also need one on the OD, so it's gonna be the BKB game. The one that has it first is going to be on the upper hand. Especially on the side of Android. With Sven having the BKB already done. Yep. Gonna make one on Mac as well. Naga Siren still really need that Diffusal Blade. Whoops, Stampede coming out. So there's Ashen down bottom. Gonna be able to imprisonment the Mars first. Meanwhile, Mark trying to go for the beat down on the Centaur and get some in, but not gonna be able to do. So three people falling and make it four. With all those God Strings and the BKB. As we can see here, the BKB timing is really important here. Dyer's Not having the BKB the means you're all prone problems. to those stuns with and the blink of Centaur as well as there's Sven who Dyer's runs like Sonic. Dyer's top tower is under attack. 
Going to actually find Naga Sign right here. Even the black hole is committed, and that's going to be Naga Sign down as well. Skellis just giving out 262 gold to Mac. And that's going to help Lashrak, helping Mac make his way through the BKB. Grimstroke, though, planning to play the position 4 with that urn, I mean, Spirit Vessel. But things doesn't really look good to him. There is no charges at all. They haven't been able to kill people for around five minutes already. And there's Enigma with that blank helping out with that previous initiation. It's going to be quite easy for him to actually go for the Malefice. With those GPM Talon going to make his BKB timing coming much sooner. But now we have Rubik with the 8, the lens. Might be able to try and steal a bit more from the safer side. As well as dealing all those spells from our distance. And here of Crimson Guard. Would be fairly good against the Naga Siren, but either way. Right now they're heavily on magic as well. So there's OD. Still having that Sandy Eclipse intact. Oh, here the middle lane with the Stampede. He's only to fly solo going down. Two ultimates actually burned down for that support kill. Oh, but they can't really do anything that they want. And now here we have Boomies. Gonna come here and take Mark. Natsumi coming in. Doesn't want to pop God strength. Whoops. Gonna be the last minute imprisonment coming in. Bok trying to go for the sun. But RR gonna TP away. As well as Mark not gonna get found. So. Looks to be a quite nice juke. Coming out from Neon. Was a bit on the greed on the side of Team Edward as well. If the centaur waited for the OD, then that might be the case that they caught the OD as well. Either way, it seemed to be... Looked to be a really easy double kill there, but they finally lose them all. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. That's going to be having Salbert, which is really what OD is prone to. Also Naga Siren, if you actually put it on her before those mirror image creation. Then you can actually spot the real one right after it is. Loaded to the gills. Right, working the way through bounty. Daedalus. Oops, and gonna need to be three bounties. But that doesn't really help with the net worth difference still big chunk of 9k onto the side of adroid now we have Sven really spacing out being the top yeah, network yeah, and there's gonna be four smoke coming in can try and scan to see yeah, if anyone is gonna stay for under. push uh say for pushing and as counter push i mean and skip the wave Not really Dyer's anyone can do this at the moment with all those cats, especially Naga Sign with no means of escape. Since there's BKB on that Sven. Dyer's top tower is under attack. As was the Shrek, actually. Gonna be Enigma. Boomy finding out Skullicious. Gonna be an engagement going in. With that Arena of Blood. Gonna seal the Stampede actually from Ru by Rubik and activate it as well. But Sven looking strong, gonna come in. BKB ran out on both of them, but meanwhile, Mark gonna get beat down by Mac. Rappy gonna pin Centaur right into that tree, but either way, it's gonna be the song and TP escape. Oops, not looking to be the song ending early, but they couldn't really do anything to actually dispel those TPs. But either way, they'll pick what's best for them in this scenario. Still 40 seconds before the OD comes back, so they're gonna pick Rosh. Look 
gonna be a bit of illusion coming out from Shadow Demon. Oop. It's gonna be quite easy, Roshan. Age is going to Mac. Regeneration. So OD still need the four staff to actually help himself against that Sven since there is no means of actually stop Sven through BKB now. Aside from stealing that nice. demonic the purge, torment. of course, but that seems to be a rare case. Gonna find the wandering oh, shadow demon. Oops. Gonna be able to scramble himself up into that disruption and meanwhile it's gonna be the song and finding centaur war runner and it's there and top that with the ink soul stun it's going to be two kills for free no ultimates used actually their song but that's quite irrelevant so 100 seconds still need six uh, about 55 on the centaur so they can come back on track on the side of androids but meanwhile, they're gonna farm, farm, farm. BKB is quite close towards Boomy. Look at Dyer's bottom tower, Jax. So no means of actually silencing him from afar with that Grim Stroke. Rappy not gonna find him. Actually find him in the last Dyer's moment, but Stampede. Going to be a bit misused. Thought they were going to actually catch him, but well, a bit too late. Impurities. All right, 30 minutes soon coming out. Mark, I get forced to TP back. Then we have to have a Salbert being done on Bach. Right about here. Gonna be the blink and data is ready on the spend already. Natsumi looking to beat people really hard with all those crits. The meanwhile is going to be Ascadi on Naga Siren. Scadalicious living up to the name. The meanwhile is for Mars. Really need that Desolator. That's otherwise he's not really gonna have the enough damage. And over here, Radiance Top Tower. About Indeed. Radiance top tower is no more. No four man getting ready. Tower, See if anyone comes up to actually go for the the push. Dire just fortified. Dire denying their bottom tower.
taking quite some time as she beat down the Naga Illusion. So Sven might not have enough damage if Neon plays a fight right. I can hear something, so there we got Mac finding Rappy, but there's nothing gonna happen. With the Yule's use, Mac's gonna run to safety like nothing is, has ever happened. So with the boost of travelers. to be stampede use so finding the naga siren mac not gonna use bkb so you can't really song your way out of here but there's a lot damage coming out finishing up with the lightning storm and ruby is gonna find centaur here gonna steal the stampede once again they didn't really use anything to clean that up so ruby will abuse that with the aghanim scepter instead about getting the charges he Radiant really wants. Tower is under 13 already, gonna pop that up and go for the tower hit. Seems to be a Radiant really fast tower, tower falling. And Naga Siren gonna buy back right away with the Grimstroke. Soul bind into two Astro Imprisonment and it's gonna be BKB for Sven. Gonna come right in and going to beat Rappi down. I mean, no one is going to die just yet. There's nothing that Nagasaki can go towards the front line. And meanwhile, Adroid gonna run to safety like nothing has ever happened. So it's gonna be buyback burn, as was quite a lot of ultimates. But there's still the black hole intact. Got strength in 75 seconds. And now we have Stampede on, on both sides. I assume, no. One minute before Stampede on Rubik. BKB also done on Enigma, but not really gonna risk ulting even with the BKB on because there's Rubik, Rubik and it's gonna build into the Lincoln first. Oh, and it's going to be Enigma getting cancelled right away. Didn't really activate the BKB. But Rubik, gonna get beaten down. Might want to try to use a black hole. So, quite the black hole in vain. Stolen it, but not able to use it at all and dying right away. So, Rappi and RR both going down. OD. Mark forcing the BKB and TP away. So, that's going to burn two charges, being at 8 seconds right now. And two men stun. And she's gonna beat down Fly solo. It's going to be GG for the first game. Android taking the first game of this grand final series. Oh, someone's gone. Quack, Jax, go find him. 